The following Let's Play you're about to watch is canon. Hello there, Internet! I am your host, the J-Man. Welcome you all back to Let's Play! Charles Barkley, Shabba Jam Guide in Chapter 1, The Hope Saga! We left off! Oh, Barkley, the footing is a stable. Okay. We left off! It's been several years since the chaos dunked happened that resulted in basketball being outlawed. Damn, that's badass. Yeah, why? Why is this? this Actually, well made. Yeah, what's on his dick? Dead. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know this is like meant to be like a ship pose RPG, but that whole comment is not saying goodbye. Hits me a lot. It's open. Watch your step, Barkley. Stir up that by beneath us. I'll keep that in mind. I'm sure you guys all know that a guy I used to work with like was like, let go. What's this pool? A pool coming right flights of people I've never seen again. Okay, we've all heard. Like Shaquille O'Neal, Ron Artes, and even Hakeem Ojawun. Never heard of that guy. Look him up. Oh. I don't really like pay that much attention to basketball, but they were never found. All their fates remain uncertain. All of this is my fate. Even born in the chaos zone. Can't let yourself through. Oh yeah, myself everybody. I think I forgot to finish recap. But as I said, we live in a place where basketball is illegal. Uh, the cap, hell bane, the greatest thing I love. The fate of the choice. Basketball is illegal, and basically we're blamed for another chaos dunk. Yeah, as far as energy power, power, what is it? Touch it, Barkley. Amazing, I feel my B1 energy. 
turning to me as he speaks. Incredible. Yes, Barkley. This statue resorts people energy. They're quite an amazing artifact. Here it comes, then. It's time to jam! What is this game? So basically, I remember I was like, I made a jam episode where me and Sean like went to Disney World, ran to Micah Iser, and that was it. That that was a tough fight. May you find best people to mention last spirit. Rest in peace, Wonder Riff. Inside of our mummy of death. That has not aged very well. Should I read this? I'm for I'm very aware that Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter accident. Great. Look out. Ugh. This is not aged very well. Shekels. Yeah, my state. The so, I said last time, originally, like, I had planned, like, a JMOB gag where everybody in JMOB would treat the Oklahoma City Thunder like the devil. And I would be forth the longest, even though I, when I secretly am, I did it. I just killed Kobe Bryant. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's been. Yeah. He was already dead, Barkley. Yeah! In real life! But all I know is that that followed. He said, I'm gonna dunk the ball so hard. Look, that was Kobe. I'm sorry, Mark. That, that whole boss fight was awkward. <laughs> Why is there just a vending machine? This is what I think it is. That's a relic of time. So I said, he. Alright, let's see. Surprise the furry, the vidcons, and the that puck is the idea for Saka when playing a new Mitchell game. Although playing is more appropriate word because you rather play a vidcon. Oh, simply the simplicity. 
Why not X, but... For those ignorant of the of this fine juice, imagine that delicacy is sweetened bread with the width of a Lego chopstick. The tip is covered with the richest chocolate imaginable. Yeah, again, what are these forum site posts? Called, called Ego. A VidCon Ego. Close to a night. Therefore, as the only video cost, perhaps the only drama cocky has limited availability in the West. No, it cannot be a chain that's stuck anyway. I think I swore I saw them selling at those at Walmart. Or maybe I was just imagining it. I'm just checking to make sure I didn't miss any items. Yeah, I remember like watching. That's a uh, space jam. Two of my sister and her boyfriend. I remember, like, I spooked them real good. For, for those who don't remember, 2021 was when I, I was not only into balls deep into the world ends with you, but I was very balls deep into Milk Your Solid. So I decided to t test out my stealth skills by, like, sneakily walking up, hiding behind a curtain, and then I said, Kept you waiting, huh? Kojima, hire me. So, uh, don't get your hopes up, but I said I might do a GMO episode about the cruise. Basically, for those don't like, so, my family's going on a Disney cruise. Uh, I don't want to get to the personal specifics of what happened there. But let's see what's over here. What's the statue? It's not a statue, practically. It's a Kennecope uh, urn filled with the it trails of prehistoric ballers. The early ballers believed that their ultra organs and earned death for the soul. We'll find the rest of the B ball dimension. That's what we've seen. You have to remember the early ballers were prone to few people who you that used gods playing in life and natural phenomena. For example, other than the HBL players believe that thunder was a result of gods playing basketball in the sky. Well, clearly we'll see about that. I don't know. But it's going to a twist happen. Teddy. I don't know exactly why. It's right about like one G.W. Carver. Substance. So, who lived during the Cyber Apocalypse. Now the amount of well, is particularly inspiration or the
show my uh The only thing I can remember was the Rick and Morty cameo, which Rick and Morty being the quote unquote peak comedy it is. Pokes fun at by like it, like having the versions of to my knowledge, like, the more recent season had the, their, the ones that appeared in uh, Space Jam New Legacy get killed, uh, die. Yeah, so I'm sure you guys all, all know by now, but uh, I don't know what happened. Chin Kong went made a. Uh... I'm sure everybody knows what happened to Chega because I've. Since it negatively impacted me.
Basically, Chugga made a post about everything and that, uh, t so it turns out, uh, for, for one, he and Masse were actually, uh, dating, but the two broke up and, uh, And turns out, if you're a refresher, some guy named, some girl named Lolly, named Emily, I'll be fair. Yeah. Try to accuse Chugga of doing some weird feet fish thing to her. When actually Emily said she'd never communicate with him, that he did anything that made her uncomfortable. And then there was a girl named Molly who was like a girl that Chicka was talking to like online and it turned out she was trying to get him to have her to have sex with him. And this girl was 15. God, that girl had some mental issues. And the saddest part from and that
হয়েছে Yeah, look at Cyber Dwarf, look at Cyber Dwarf. Goodbye, LeBron. Fuck, I can't hear rumbling. What's that? Look out! Here comes the Bebop monster! Balls! <laughs> Yep. I've I had to jam out because that was proof this game was more than just of one probably one of the highest quality shit posts on the internet. Like I don't know how much I, that song was just blew me away. I thought that was the final boss theme. And I remember, like, when I was drafting, like, my ideas for, like, a potential final J-Mod episode. I wanted this to be the song to play during the final battle. Like, if you don't remember, like, my plan for J-Mod, like, for, like, making it slightly more serious. But still, like, like, hard. Basically, the composers of Seattle, like, these what we think are. Some guys, like, took over it. As like a last story, he becomes like a giant noise because like since GMO Bills underground Reapers game didn't have noise, so it was more of a fight club. But if that JMOD's version of Jaga big there. So time for some spoilers, because I'm pretty sure I'm never gonna make this proper. 
basically, at one point, like, it's a rebooting game, I was going to use Koikatsu to tell the story. Originally, Jaga was going to be my... And basically, Jago's gonna be like a different, like, not my kid Jago, because, so Jago, for context, my first big Kokatsu to fill off a certain fetish. I made a Jago like Kokatsu, like a cape girl outfit. But then I sort of, bring, of course, not a cave girl thing for Jaga for J Mod. But Jaga was gonna be a minor ca a character, basically be my girlfriend. Wondering, and no, my no, Vega was not gonna be the voice of Jaga. I don't, I do not want nepotism. But yeah, back to all saying about. The, so I'll start talking about the Jaga thing. So initially, when I made Jaga, then I started to turn Jaga. Her Jaga back started that she was actually a state aspiring uh, theater actress, trying to become a. And that, but basically during her own perf first performance, uh, sandbag fell off and killed her. And when she got into the underground, won the Reapers game. The head of the Reaper, like, let's just call him a Zane. Who was like an arrogant rock star kind of guy. Basically, blackmailed her and kept her entry fee, which was her ability to, to, to be on stage. And to try and seduce one of the guys that during this deck, the Gmod bill. the Gmod Mill Underground. Uh, 
Uh, but basically, Sojuro was just not interested in women. Sean already had a girlfriend. Kokichi was gay. Travis was Arrow A. So that left me. But I was just too damn nice to her. Jacob did genuinely like me, though. And Jacob basically was like one night, like. Sh she spiked my drink, and I passed out. Jacob was trying to try to use that to stab me to death, but she just felt horrible about it. And just So, basically, since her, the one person that couldn't there, because he was like, yeah, I'm still trying to find out why he couldn't do it himself. My guess is, since he's a guy, no one, and since I'm, yeah, I really try and figure out how I can make that there. In the end, basically, he, Jago that gets earned there, and when I found out, I didn't take it well. And that's like when that final boss happens, and Jago. But Jago like ends up getting erased, like, and that's like when the the whole story kind of ends, like, in a very very sweet ending. Because on one hand, me and Sean, also Kokichi gets killed, like, in more of a heroic sacrifice kind of way. Um, but G we, on one hand, me, Sean, uh, Travis. Sajiro, Thomas, Mondo, and Taka saved g -Maville. but but the one girl I kind of liked was not only turned out to be kind of fraud, but did genuinely like me and is now gone. It ends like with a very depressing walk home to the theme of the remake of House of Dead of the House of Dead Remix Chris, because I like the credits of that game, because it gives like a very somber end, because, yeah, you stop Kyrian and the Magician, but, uh, you don't really know that Sophie made it out alive. Not to mention, even if, even then, even if you saved all the scientists, not all of them made it out alive. Like the guy you, like the guy you ran into at the beginning. Bam, bam, bam. Basically, me walking home, calling my mom to tell her that I'm coming back home soon. Yeah, I was quite proud of it. We did it. Managed to beat the people monster for men there. I thought you were going to make it. Are you kidding about those? The way he uses the Zalbers. Some more to call you up with Hellbane. Heck, could do better. What's this? It looks like a basketball. This is my great grandpa basketball. It was like there, Barkley. Let's be farewell. He treasures this b-ball more than anything, Charles. Very use wisely. I will about this. I will. Got one b-ball outside of the school. You can take a look for a cyber drone. What's that mean? More like, who's that? He's an old friend my grandfather's that. Whoa. He's a sewer park, we're more dangerous to No, let's go. Wait, wait what the hell is this? Some kind of robot thing? Actually, I'm a cyborg. What? You said I'm a robot. You can say I'm a cyborg. My name is Game Over Chip. Error. Cannot find name. Mm -hmm. Number 15. It was Vince Carter's number. It also resembles Vince. Except a metal surgery, but it'll purge. 
scaring me. Yes, my name is Vince Borg 2050. I was created in 2050. Eric X X X114 Jam 4 Jam 9. I cannot remember purpose. My, my God, this is Vince Carter. Vince, Vince, you remember me? It's me, Bethos James. The Octoroom great grandson of LeBron James. Vince. <laughs> Processing. Balthos James. Found it. Yes, remember you. <laughs> Curious Parkinson's, oh God, uh, my grant. Chris Chan would like your location. I didn't blame for him, but uh, step away from the computer and back the frack off, Gaijin! I hate to see that use that word, but you may be serious. Uh, it's hard to keep fathom. Some of us here are actually fans of Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy Theories, pre Final Fantasy X, and Square Enix's other work. You can try to bash me for an avatar that I bought because I happen to be a dedicated fan of perhaps the most prurgent, woven tapestry of love and loss, vengeance to ever be put on paper, from pen and paper, but you would fail. Just like all your flavors do in real life. Who could say that it might the Square Enix? Note, appropriate portmanteau of Squeenix is Squeenix, not the laughable Squeenix. We're not inspired by the works of William Shakespeare and Pluck Palanuke. What the hell is a Chuck. Oh, I know. Oh, only recognize what work I know is the Rough Fight Club. Cloud's bast bastard sword has more akin to the bastard sons of Macbeth. Than any uh, amendment or basil of the time. The Honeybee Club in Midgar reminds me more of the Fight Clubs than any brothel. So please, use your brains, not your sarcasm, to step up your intellect and lay this form of your haterade, you. What is this? <laughs> I swear, if this game came out nowadays, this guy would be a lolcow. Well, that's gonna end the episode right here. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Say yep.